Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. So tonight I am continuing work on this Stern NBA pinball machine and I have the power driver board here on the bench and I've discovered a few things that I kind of want to share with you. So if you've been following this video series I've been trying to diagnose the problem with the the lower right slingshot is not firing and I don't know why. And this is a good example of where if you uh, diagnose things in the proper order, you can save yourself some time. So let me tell you where I'm at and where I think the problem is. I don't know for sure. I am still trying to figure it out, but let me tell you what I have learned. So someone online was good enough to give me a, uh, an actual copy of the, the um, coil list for this particular game because it's not in the manual on the Stern's website. So we know the right slingshot here uh, is Q18 is the driver transistor and we know what the color of wires are it's on connector J7 pin 3 so I just thought okay since the coil was burned probably the driver transistors are blown too and I need to find the transistor on here and replace it because that's what's going to be bad well you know the easy thing is to look on the driver board and go oh let's you know the identify the blown transistor because sometimes when they go it's really quite obvious um, in this case Q18 is right here and there's no real indication there's anything wrong with it you can see um, this guy right here um, there's no sign that it's bad so let's talk about how to test these uh, transistors so that's a TIP122 transistor, and here's some brand new ones that I've got. And I've got my multimeter right here. So let's show how you test these NPN TIP122 transistors. So first off, you take your um, multimeter and you put it on the diode setting here. Right there is on mine, okay? And then um, you will want to pull this out, and depending upon the configuration of the transistor, it's slightly different, but what you basically have is you have two diodes in this circuit, so you want to test to make sure the diodes are not shorted out. Uh, there's no foolproof way using a simple multimeter to check to make sure it's not 100%, but you can usually, usually when these things go out, they're going to short, um, and so you can, you can usually test the short. So what you do is um, you put the black lead onto the center thing, which is the same thing as the tab, see? You can put it here, and then you t you check it either lead, and you see wait wait you see it says 0 0.640, and then the other one um, 0.555. So those are all within the proper readings. Um, so this thing tests good, and of course if you reverse it, you should get nothing. Um, it should not be shorted either way, and so that's correct. So we can test this in in the board to some degree. So what we'll do is um, Q18 is right there. Let's flip the board around. Let me zoom out so you can kind of see what I'm doing over here. And I marked it on the underside of the board there. Which, which of these transistors is which and I'll put the meter, let me back off a little bit so you can read the meter and let's check actually these are right here this is it so I'll put the black on the middle pin and then I will check and we get it a little beep and we get it on the other so we know that's good um, unfortunately reversing them testing the in circuit does not give us exactly the same readings one of one leg works right and the other leg gives us 1.89 so it reversing the leads doesn't give us the same readings while it's in the in circuit. So what you do is you can check the other uh, resistors in the same circuit and if they all read the same and you know they're working there's a good chance that, that, that the transistor, not transistor, did I say resistor? I meant transistor. 
that the transistor in here is working. So basically what I've discovered is I is there's no there's no indication this board the transistors on this board are bad. The one that um drives the right pop bumper appears to have all the specs as any of these others here, and I know all of these others are working because every other coil in the game works except for this one. So now I'm I'm back to square one, which leads which which is um there's a very good possibility that the line from the transistor to the coil is broken somewhere. Now, if I was smart, I would have checked that before pulling the board and going through all of this. But usually when a coil is blown, that's kind of the common thing. You expect the driver transistor to be blown. So, um, I can look at this sheet here and it tells me that for the right slingshot, the power feed is is a J7P1. That's where the power goes in. And where the transistor switches to ground to trigger it is a J7P3. So we can compare. This is, um, which one is J7? This is J7. So pin 1 and pin 3 should correspond. So the first thing we'll check is, are the traces from the transistor to the connector good. Do we have a crack solder joint here? Let's let's check it. So we'll put we'll put the um, meter on continuity, and then we'll it'll beep if we get continuity. So let's just check uh, the collector there and pin three. So that is the switch right there. Wait, let me wait a minute. Here we go. Okay. So that's a good solid connection. So it's it's unlikely that the that we've got a crack solder joint here. And and uh, so that's kind of so everything indicates that this board is probably okay. So now I've got to go back and look at the wiring in the game, which leads me to believe that this one wire on pin 3, which according to this is a violet with a red stripe on it. I'm going to be looking at this violet red wire and I'm going to test resistance from here on the board to the coil. If I don't uh if I don't get continuity there then there's our problem. Somewhere this wire is broken. And I don't believe it runs to anything other than strictly to that coil. So if that is the case I can follow the wiring harness try to find where the wire might be pinched or broken. Worst case scenario, I could run a new wire just for this. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm going to try to find that. Everything else is working in the game except for this one coil. I don't think the driver transistors are blown, which is a good thing, because I was not looking forward to having to replace any of the um, chips here. It is possible that this, this driver transistor could be okay, but U6 could be bad, which would be, ugh, that would really be unfortunate. And... Uh, I need to research how to test the the pre-driver on this U6 because that still could be a problem. But I don't see any sign of anything burned or uh, or shorted here. So that's another thing that probably needs to be checked. But I can't talk about that right now because I have to do a little bit more research. So stand by. We're going to get to the bottom of this soon, hopefully, and I will share it with you. So. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe YouTube slash Pinball Help.